Audio Jungle. We really don't believe that you have to have a lot of experience to make a big difference. I mean, look at me, right? I mean, I started this from college, so be bold, right? I mean, don't just make the conventional decisions, but think about how can we do something in a different way than everyone else has? Because, you know, what we're trying to do is different than what everyone else has done before. There were 20 great photos products around in 2005 that had millions of dollars in cash, that had hundreds of features, and here we came along with a handful of people in a month and a half and built a product that boiled down and removed all of those features, except for one thing, which was tagging it. So that we organized the photos on the web around people and it completely changed the experience. That was just like that. It's like out of your brain and your ideas and a small group of people comes something that touches the lives of hundreds of millions of real people every day. 
no matter how big this company gets, it has this David versus Goliath sort of feeling. And I think that's what makes it fun to come into work every day. Get out there and try something. And don't be afraid. There's lots of people to catch you. And you will never get criticized for trying something for the right reasons and making a mistake. Most things at Facebook don't happen because it's mandated at a top level. It happens because there's an individual in the company who really wants something to happen, who has that deep passion to kind of figure out all the subtle product decisions that go into making a product beautiful and elegant. What we're trying to do as a management team is encourage people to see the gap. And that requires being critical and being extremely imaginative. You can work on huge problems or you can come up with your own problem and work on that. Um, and you can really have a big impact. It's really early, right? I mean, if you look at the type of information that people share, it's, it's all very simple, right? And the amount of context that people can have about the world around them, the type of sharing that people want to be able to do, the type of things that you want to be able to learn about people around you, it's really just getting started. Come into work with a sense of urgency about what we're doing. Um, even if it seems like it's a simple task on a day-to-day -day basis, getting it done is the thing that lays the groundwork for everyone else to do the other things that they're doing so that it all adds up to something huge. I look around the world and I see all the things that Facebook has done from people who have adopted babies through Facebook to people that have fought for peace in, ele in elections like the Iranian election. What I see are individuals connecting. And no matter what your job is here, whether you're in you know, user operations dealing with users or engineering where you're coding the site or sales where you're opening a new sales office in a new country, it doesn't matter because we're all here to serve exactly one purpose, which are those human connections which happen every day through Facebook. We're so far, far, far away from the vision of what this could be, um, which is everything you use and everything you interact with, all the websites you use, the devices you use, they just feel like there's people there and they're conduits to people that you know and that you care about. And that is an intense, compelling thing that we are out and on the verge of creating for the first time ever in history. We can build all these new kinds of experiences and the difference between where we are and what's there, I think is a handful of people with a sense of determination and a really powerful imagination. Hey, Dick. You got a second? Yeah, come on in. So remember when you asked us to spend a lot of time and like a lot of money to make a video that's gonna inspire people to work here? No. Well, we did, and uh, it's a little over budget, but I think you're, uh, I think you're gonna like what you see. Okay, Lady Gaga, I'll call you back. Man, this is a sweet job. But working at Twitter isn't just a sweet job, it's a way of life. A way of life that's like a sweet job. Have I got your attention now? Walk with me and we'll learn more. Oh, hey Olivia from Recruiting. Do people ever ask you why it's so much fun to work at Twitter? Boy, Ian, they sure do. At Twitter, you get to work on small teams working on projects that affect hundreds of millions of users. Just ask one of our engineers. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. I, I love working here because I... Could... Boy, I wish I didn't already work here so I could apply for a job. Do we have any open positions? Does a tweet have 140 characters? Two, three. Yes. yes. Here are some examples. Engineering manager. Engineers who know about mobile. Front-end engineers and back-end engineers, Java specialists, Hadoop reliability engineers. But it doesn't stop there. We're also hiring for non-engineering jobs, like sales, product management, and design, and so much more. Man, those sure are a lot of great jobs. 
What do you think, CEO Dick Costello? Thanks, Ian. In addition to jobs, we offer free gym memberships and catered breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Not to mention yoga, chair massages, acupuncture, and beer. This really is a great place to work. As an employee, you have tons of benefits, like your own computer, a bottle of wine, and a t-shirt. And don't forget full health care and great dental coverage. All of this at an international company that's helping to change the world. So what are you waiting for? Come work at Twitter. And join the vlog today. So? It's great. I love it. He, he loves, loves it. it. Why do I work in the Apple store? Why wouldn't I work at the Apple store? I want to do something significant. I work at Apple for the people. Every day when I go to work, I just tell myself I'm a student and I will learn a lot today. The best leadership experiences I've had, it's never just one. It's sort of hard to pinpoint one best leadership experience. Every day I come to work and I actually have fun at work. And everybody's really proud to be a part of their community. It became like the place that I called home. first day on the job, I knew I was in a different world, in a different environment. I get to work with really smart people at all different levels. I wanted to do something more. The experience that you have in the store is an unbelievable leadership experience. My most important role at Apple is really making our people feel special. And I think we are responsible for enriching our people's lives. Once I started to meet the people, I would have run through walls to come and work for this company. There can be career paths for all of us at a company like Apple. To come to work in this big, beautiful building each and every day, work with 150, 160 of the funniest, most intelligent people each and every day and get to sell really cool things, it's great. Everything we do every day is about making technology accessible to everybody so that we can enrich their lives. Apple is inventing the industry. My goal is to be part of these great things that we invent. What, what's fantastic is that I can see myself doing a lot of different uh, jobs in a lot of different functions with Apple. Innovation, is, in one word, is what describes Apple. The Apple Store, we're innovating every day. Innovation is in our DNA. But I think it's made me a better person without even realizing it. When I leave the Apple store, I, I feel on top of the world. We change people's lives each and every day. If that's not impactful, I don't know what is. I've said repeatedly, I think I have the best job in the world. I love my job.
Ty, Tomek. Mhm. Ten film jest nudny, nie? No tak. Czy nie dostaniemy na festiwal, co? Nie ma szans. Jakbyśmy tak kogoś zabili. Może ja pokażę cycki? Ja ty, co? Ty, nikt nie chce oglądać twoich cycków. Moje cycki to nie problem, to twoje aktorstwo. Hmm. A co chcę? A, zastąpić. Bardzo utalentowany. Obrałem ciemniaka. Przyje pan. Oh, very funny. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> we are Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. of tomorrow. Sponsors of tomorrow. Who are you kidding? These new Intel core processors are the most amazing technological achievement in the history of the company. No, I'm serious. I think they're the greatest thing that we have ever made. Absolutely, nothing surpasses it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jeffrey, come back. Introducing the all-new 2010 Intel core processors. Okay, let's try this again. Execute handshake Omega. And pop it, lock it. Come back and fly away. It's good, right? And who was late on the pop and lock? We are Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. They're invading from space. <laughs> this is completely and totally awesome. They call it electronic mail. Oh! What? No wires. Huh? I'm still surfing. It's boosting performance automatically. Whoa. Introducing the all-new 2010 Intel Core Processors. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it! 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 
Introducing the all-new 2010 Intel Core processors. Which part are we going to cut first? Uh, well, at first I thought I'd get into the memory circuit, but that's silly, right? So then I thought maybe the turbo circuit over here, but that's just as crucial, so I don't know where that leaves us. What about power management? Power management? Are you serious? Why don't you just pop all the balloons and spit in the punch? We are Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. It's not a problem. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We are Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. That's the spot. Yeah, I have the file for the... Hey. What are you doing? Working. We are Intel. Sponsors of tomorrow. For the commitment you demonstrated, day in, day out. For standing tall in the face of adversity. For the perseverance. And for always going beyond the call of duty. the extraordinary achievements in research, arts, and crafts. For delivering under pressure and showing leadership qualities. For making us see that it's not all about how you make money and how you spend it. For telling those who told you, go get a job. A job doesn't define me. What I fight for does. Hey, Ham. Henry. Hen. Hey, Hen. You know, I bet you're wondering where you should go to further your education, right? How did you do that, Aaron? It's a snap! Here at the Central Institute of Technology... You alright? Yeah. Anyway, here at the Central Institute of Technology, everything is at your fingertips. It's a snap. It's close to public transport. Getting around is a breeze. Do you want a latte, mocha, or a macchiato? Yes, please. Hmm. Or is that a beer, cider, or maybe something stronger? They're up to date with the latest technology. Here you go, fellas. Oh, look, I don't think you should be giving beer to... to, to... I can do whatever I want, okay? I'm a fucking god! Just do the thing. Here at Central, business students get a world-class education. You know how? Ah, uh, because it's a snap. No, no. It's a bro, bar, snap. <laughs> Oh, so this is where they do the, the fashion and um, textiles. Oh, God. <laughs> don't panic. Don't panic, Aaron. Oh, jeez. Aaron, I just don't know what I'm gonna go. I'm snap.
At AdRoll, we're working to solve the real-time advertising problem, which boils down to swallowing terabytes of data, crunching these streams on the fly, then taking what you learn to make split-second decisions in billions of advertising auctions per day. Before we got our start at AdRoll, this sort of advertising was so complicated, really only the largest Fortune 500 brands could take advantage of it. But we thought the techniques could work just as well for brands of any size, and set out to build the first platform to democratize the space. Turns out that was a great idea. We now help thousands of advertisers more than any other company. We're profitable and we recently raised a large round of funding from great investors to help us grow even faster. I'm a CEO with a technical background, which means I roll up my sleeves and work closely with the product and engineering team. From an early age, I've been interested in software and programming. Fast forward to today, those are the same things that drew me into the online advertising space. I don't think your average engineer wakes up in the morning thinking much about ads, but it turns out ad tech has some of the most interesting, challenging problems in any online space. At AdRoll, we took to the cloud early and we're power users of Amazon Web Services. Our front end is built almost entirely in Python. Our real-time servers are built on top of Erlang. HBase and Hadoop power our data warehouses, and we have one of the most intuitive front ends uh, in the entire industry based on Backbone JS and jQuery. AdRoll was recently named by Inc. Magazine as the number one fastest growing advertising company and the number seven fastest growing company across all industries in the US. We have an incredible culture at AdRoll, which includes a smart, diverse engineering team. Where else do you find a Street Fighter II world champ teaching the president of Python Italy how to Hadouken? A ex Special Forces engineer who can provision MapReduce clusters? A pilot who built the ultimate build health signal? or a data scientist slash musicologist getting to the bottom of auction dynamics. Besides hanging out with us, you'll get a chance to interact with every department and work to solve some of the most interesting user design and scalability problems. Come join us at Shangri-La, our fun, colorful headquarters in downtown San Francisco. VMware is the global leader in virtualization and cloud market. And now we are undisputable leader with more than 80% market share. We are proud that in Russia, the biggest companies like Sberbank, Gazprom, MTS, and many, many others use our technology. At the current stage, uh, VMware grows very fast. So we would like to hire a lot of new people. We are looking for talented, enthusiastic, uh, effective and professional people. It should be high-level, educated and very, very energetic people. Who will support us uh, at the stage of growth. High-level professionals, agile, who are able to share our success on the market. And we are looking for real professionals who can help us to grow even further. All of this we do together with more than 20,000 partners, local and global. 
I'm proud to be the part of one of the most innovative companies in the world. Hey, I'm Edward. I work at this great company called Shopify, and I thought that I should give you a bit of a tour today and introduce you to some of the cool people who work here. Let's go. Shopify has been growing a lot recently. We're over 100 people now. So we decided to split up into smaller teams. Teams like the support team, mobile, applied analytics, gurus, design gurus, developer advocates, Shopify Labs, Marketing and Public Relations, Accounting, Level 2 Support, Sales Team, Admin Team, The Ops Team, and a ton more. Shopify's got tons of great perks, like free catered lunches ordered every day. What's for lunch today? Indian food. There's a ton of great reasons to work here, but you don't have to take my word for it. I love working at Shopify because I get to do what I love every day and get paid for it. I really love the office here. There's tons of open areas, everyone has a lot of space, and it doesn't feel like we're trapped in some sort of cubicle hell. It's very rare that you can come into a workspace that allows you to do what you love and like feel inspired at the same time without any boundaries. We get to work on some really interesting projects using new technologies that you just don't get to work with anywhere else. And just the, the casual atmosphere that just lets us work on, on our own schedule, giving us the responsibility to, to manage our own hours and what works best for us. I have a lot of freedom here. Um, I can be very creative and people only embrace that.